an electrical equipment manufacturer in Tokyo. When we went to visit, we discovered this small electron microscope used for demonstrations. How is it different from an optical microscope? We asked engineer Ishikawa Isamu in order to find out what makes it special. A microscope that uses visible light is called an optical microscope. An electron microscope aims an electron beam at the sample. You can zoom in from several hundred thousand times to several million times. That's the difference. What does this mean exactly? In order to view a sample in an optical microscope, light is shown on it like so. But light has a wavelength. If the sample is smaller than the wavelength, the wave passes over it and the sample is not visible. However, an electron beam has a much shorter wavelength than light allowing much smaller samples to be viewed. A compartment is opened and the sample is set inside the unit. The electron beam hits the sample from above and the way the electrons are reflected is used by the computer to generate an image. Just what does it look like? Let's magnify some pollen from a Japanese morning glory. The pollen, with a diameter of about 0.1 millimeters, appears like this. Every spike on the pollen and the texture of the surface is clearly visible. You can use an electron microscope to look at an ant and observe the eyes and antennae in detail. How about mechanical pencil lead? The cross-section looks like this up close. Maybe you're researching materials, or maybe living things. It depends on your goal, but an electron microscope really allows you to carefully observe the structure of the sample. This company even has a large device capable of viewing the tiniest particles which compose matter, atoms. This is the actual machine inside. How is this used to view objects? A rod-like tool is pulled from the machine. The sample is set at the tip of the rod. See this round bit here? It's only three millimeters in diameter. Inside is a sample of silicon so small that it can't be seen with the naked eye. The rod is loaded into the machine. When zoomed in, this is the magnified view of the silicon sample. Every one of the many dots lined up in a grid here is a silicon atom. It's useful to view things at an atomic level at factories for semiconductors or other precision machines or at pharmaceutical companies analyzing the structure of compounds to make new medicines, or at universities doing research into new metallic materials. This company's electron microscopes are used in industry and at universities in around a hundred countries and regions worldwide. The company was founded after World War II in 1949. The founder was a former engineer for the Navy. He believed that science and technology would be vital in post-war Japan, which led the company to develop electron microscopes. 
Since then, the company has worked with university researchers worldwide to improve the microscopes and continue their development. In 2017, in cooperation with the University of Tokyo, they were able to develop an electron microscope that broke the world record for magnification. It was even able to observe atoms that previously appeared to be one unit, but were actually made up of two parts. There's an actual need around the world to observe and research on an atomic level. To put it one way, let's say there's a ping pong ball on the moon. To be able to see that 3.5 centimeter ball from the Earth, that's the magnification that researchers need.